Hi, I'm Nikki. I'm Heather. We are the Woolly we Elephant. Are. This is episode 12. 12. <laughs> um, can't believe we've got to episode 12 already. I know, it's crazy. The time's just flying by. Um, I can't believe we stuck at it. I know, and that <laughs> we've got 154 followers, I think. Subscribers. subscribers. So we must be doing something, okay? Yay! <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome to our show. Yes, <laughs> to all any new viewers. Um, thank you for taking time out of your day to to spend a little time with us and to those that have become Woolly Elephant groupies, one lady said. Without groupie, yeah. <laughs> or uh, have been watching us all the way through. Thank you for, for coming back and sticking with us. It's, it's lovely to get to know the people that are, are watching us regularly, so if you can comment underneath or go to our Ravelry group, uh, Woolly Elephant Podcast yep. group and say hello, introduce yourself um, and I'll give you a mention on here. Yes, that'd be nice. It's May the 11th, 11th. Yes. <laughs> Thursday May the 11th today and it's, it's tw cocktail, then. 20, 25, to, <laughs> 25 to 9 in the <laughs> evening. Um, We've done a fair bit this week, done bits and pieces. I've worked on a few things this week. I've worked on a few uh, things. As you. And we're going to start adding in a couple of new segments. We mentioned last time um, that we might start doing a book review, as we've shown a couple of books. And, and when we say books, we mean like proper knitting books and maybe magazines, maybe like uh, pattern books. Like book we have booklets like we've got quite a few King Cole baby uh, baby booklets and Peter Pan and and that kind of so thing different to and ones yeah. from different companies that we've used because we used to used to knit an awful lot of baby things and on the baby things note we thought we might add in um, a baby section at the end as well for baby knits because I'm sure plenty of you out there have got babies and toddlers oh, um, you might want to see because I can start ferreting through my back catalogue of uh, things I've knitted. I've kept, you know, pictures of most things that I've knitted for people, uh, either that I've sold or given to friends, and for Michael. And, Michael and, and we're going to we're going to pick up, start knitting the odd baby thing again, and reviewing some of the new baby yarns that come out. Definitely. More the commercial baby yarns that come out, and yeah. the, and patterns. We've got so many baby patterns. We need to start. We've got a lot. Yeah, <laughs> uh, using them again. And maybe start then adding them back into our Etsy shop. So let us know what you think. We will time stamp. I'll time stamp um, for the book review or for the for the baby thing. So that if you're not interested in that, you can skip past, you can, uh, skip past it um, and just watch what you want to watch. Definitely. So shall we start with finished objects? Finished objects. So we'll get on to the actual knitting now. Finished objects. You can go first. I don't bought this on the last video. I had. Yeah, because you yeah. started it. I had. Well, I've been knitting this. I've got to go the other way, I'm on the wrong side. Uh, I've been knitting, spent a lot of time on knitting this over the uh, the past couple of weeks to get it done. Um, and Well, I knit monogamous, what are they call them? Monogamous. monogamously on this until I'd got it done. Um, it's come out a little bit smaller than I expected, and I had. Quite a reasonable amount of yarn left. There was two colours that never even fitted in it. I thought it'd be wider. Um, so if I was to make one again, if I was to make one, if I was to buy one and make one again, I would. It's got some you could on. you could fit. You could do at least another. I'd say <coughs> two to three repeats and make it wider. Mm. You could easily get at least another two, maybe even three more repeats. But <coughs> as Nikki, sorry, as Nikki just said. It's got quite a bit of stretch. I'm going to block this. Um, I'll, if the colours are gorgeous. I love them. Um, when I started making it, I didn't like it. I didn't like the colour blocking effect. I like a gradient rather than a block. Mm. But now it's finished. I do really like it. I'd like it to be a bit bigger. But my mum doesn't want it to wear it round the neck like we do. She wanted a shawl to put round the shoulders. Um, let's see if we can get it on a close up. If the camera's going to cooperate a bit more today. There we go. Trying it on a bit of a new setting. So it's lovely colours, and we're seeing these popping up 
everywhere. All over Instagram. And, and on Facebook, coming on Facebook in all the different colourways. So if there's anybody making one, like I said, if there's anybody making one of these um, that isn't to the halfway point yet, add in a couple more. If you're doing it on the 4mm needles, add in a couple more pattern repeats because you'll easily get it. Because you had quite a bit left over. Did yes. You have like so you would, colours left over? Two colours left over. So you would get it um, longer. You would get it not only wider, but you would probably get it. It'd probably come another two seven row repeats is going to be another quite a bit length on that, and two bits more, what two more pattern repeats wider. Um, I have bought some yarn, different yarn that I'm going to make one of these with, another one of these because it's such an easy pattern to knit. All I've got to do is sew these two ends in. This is for my mum's birthday next Friday. Um, but I'm going to knit another one into different yarn um, to maybe uh, sell. I thought I might start knitting a few shawls to sell. People keep asking us. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd do some of the easy ones. And this is great TV knitting product. If you want something different from knitting socks in front of the TV, some, you know, vanilla socks, this is such an easy pattern because you're basically just stocking stitch and garter stitch and, and then just one lace pattern row. The eyelet hole row, um, and I knitted it on my four millimeter Symphony straights. So, and it fitted on, and they were only 30 centimeter ones, and it fitted on them nicely, quite easily. And it was such a pleasure to knit with my straight needles <laughs> for a change after all the circular knitting, yeah. all the circular knitting needles that I've been using all the time. I like using them, but it was made a nice change to knit uh, with, my circ with my straights for a change. So that's that one. That's good. So what have you got? Um, that's my only finished object. I finished Ben socks. Yay! Finally, I um, had to put a toe in on one of them, and I can't remember. I don't know which one it is. I think it's. I think it's this one. I actually transferred it over onto DPNs, whereas on the first one, I just did it on the nine inch circular needle with some markers and I think I did a better job transferring them over onto DPNs. Um, I've been washing them. Please these are finally done um, and I'm not knitting in socks in four ply for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Double knit in future. Double knit and Aaron for him I think. Um, he's got size 11 feet, UK 11. I, don't, I wouldn't know what that is in America but they're giant sized and obviously these have got a bit of stretch. Oh, Andrew's got size 12, you know. Oh, they're just Quite even bigger feet, yeah. Oh, and they're really there's no wide. one as tall as Ben. And they're really wide as mm. well. He's just, just got... So what did you knit them on? Circus feet. 2.75 9 inch Chia Goo circular needles. And this is my February... No. Lying. My January sock club I got from Devon Sun Yarns. Yep. Um, called January Skies. It's a January one. Really nice, I've got quite a bit left over and I'm planning on making knitting Michael some socks to go to match. That'd be cute, because he likes being matchy matchy, doesn't he? Yeah, he, <laughs> like, he likes matching. Um, so I've, I've, I've got plenty left over so I can make Michael a couple of sizes. Um, I just need to find a sock pattern that I like. Because I want to knit it in the round. Um, I don't want to be faff faffing. I think I'm faffing. Don't say that. Fat faffing. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want to knit them on, the st on straight needles and then sew them up. I'm sure I've got a pattern, you know? Yeah. Um, for four ply baby socks. Not toddler socks. I've got a hole. How? You've dropped a stitch. You said you lost a stitch. Oh, that'd be where it went. You said you lost a stitch. Do you want to earn stitch marker? Yes. You did say you lost a stitch and you didn't find it. That's what I did on my, you know those, on my spotty remember shows. those fingerless mitts I did with yeah. the lacy pattern in and I said I lost a stitch and then you found it. Yeah. Oh, how annoying. Thank you. Yeah. I'll just sew that up when I That's it. it. Keep them uh, pinned. A couple of pinned on the inside of my project bag. So if what? I forget to take my me, me bits and pieces tin, my notions tin. So that's that. I've got that's, it there. That's those. I did this, um, I, I put a proper heel flap and gusset on this. Um, Which is by far the best way. Don't care what you say. I don't like doing them. They, they are the best way. I think it's because from doing fish lips kiss heel, how fast I can get that done, 
Um, compared... It's not all about the speed, you know. Well, it is for me. Or else <laughs> I'll lose interest. Um, I just didn't like. I just don't like doing it. I might like it eventually. I don't know. I just find no. I like it because it gives you a bit more room. I think on your ankle, which I like. I've done an afterthought heel, and I like that. That was a really good fit. I think I, I want to try that. And I've tried a new heel on one of the projects I'm going to show. I think I've tried several new things on one of the projects I'm going to show. I think I'm going to, I think, to try the afterthought heel, because you cut your yarn, don't you? Yeah. You cut, you cut no, I didn't, I didn't cut. You can knit in, you can knit in a strand, which is how I learned. Right. Uh, you knit in a strand, uh, just another yarn of the same thickness or a bit thicker. Yeah. You knit it in and then you just carry on knitting carry on. and then you uh, you take that out. Right. You run your, where you've got your yarn in, in your stitches, yeah, comes up, doesn't it? where you've got your yarn, so you'll get to say, say that's where your heel was going to go, you'd have a strand of yarn that's knitted in with the two tails sticking out yeah. and then when you come to pick it up you just put your needle in, run your needle through all the stitches yeah. uh, on both sides and then pick, it up. pick that out. Yeah. Um, and then your stitches are already on your needles. Oh, right. And it's all ready to go, which was very easy. Because the video I watched, it involved cutting, and I'm I'm a bit nervous because I don't want Yeah, that's the, that's what I've noticed appearing rec recently, but people cutting. for afterthought stuff yeah. I've done before, for thumbs and, and for that one heel that I've done. I did it on, you know me, turquoise, blue and brown socks. I did it on that, mm. um, and it was really easy. Oh, right. Oh, um, so it's because you just knit a tube then. But you just put this afterthought bit in where your heel's going to go. And yeah. just do it in a different colour yarn and then you can see what it's going to be. And then, in the last video, I showed these socks that are for my nanny. Um, and I finished <laughs> Disappear them. against your shirt. Could do them a bit, don't they? Um, <clears throat> and one of my Kitchener stitch stitches didn't go very well. And it, it just irritated me. So I ended up chopping the end of the toe off. Because I undid it, redid it, still looked a mess. So I just... Did the last few rows and I've redone them so now it looks nice again. Um, Just ignore the dangly bits. Nice. <laughs> We're all nice and presentable Which is again. what we all try to do all the time. <laughs> Just ignore them. Just yeah. hang in there. <laughs> she says, I'll get some love. I better saw that in before I give them to her. To yeah, because. <laughs> hang in, Nanny. I knitted for her. Yeah. And it was only when she pulled them off she said, What's that? And I haven't sewn the ending. I took my needle with me today when I went to see him today to do it, and she couldn't find him. Rubbish. She says she was looking for him last night because she was so cold. She said she was going to wear him in bed and then couldn't find him. Oh, I should be pleased though that I've made a balls. So they're the same pattern as the ones I've just taken for, and the ones I made for my dad, the Wendy Rome Fusion ones that I think I finished. Was it in the last podcast? Yeah. I took him them today, and when I gave him him, he said, "Ooh, woolly socks." For my stone cold feet, because he has permanently stone cold feet, so he was quite pleased. Pleased. So that's really good. Yeah. So that's all our finished objects. And um, fixes. And fixes. <laughs> it looks better now, that. It does. So, it looks proper. I'm, I'm, I'm happier now because all I could imagine was she'd be sat there going, she's done a half ass job. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> she can do better than this. So no, I won't, I couldn't I couldn't be having that, so I had to no, fix it. You're making it somebody you've got to do it right. I, I had to fix it, yeah. So, yeah. Right. so can I have my broom? You can have your broom. Ah. We are on a new tea today. I've been to Booths. Thank you. They sell lots of loose teas because I've got a nice teapot. It's a cup. I've got one of these at home. That says <laughs> if I can't take my knitting, I'm not going. But this one says knit. I brought them back from Wales when I was in Wales last year. Just one more row. Just one more my row. My husband yeah. said to pick that one because that's apparently what I always say. Yeah, I'll do it. Just one more row. Yes, dear. Just one more row. Yes, dear. Just yes, dear. And then mine's me, uh, me eco cup, and it's got a knitting. It's a docking stitch type of pattern on it. That's really cool. I think it's pretty cool. I've got a rubber lid for this, you know, for keeping it hot. I have one at work as well, so it keeps your brew warm a bit longer. And we're on Booth's uh, Smoky Grey. It's called Smoky Grey Tea with a Citrus Twist. It's, it's, it's definitely different. It's definitely different, it's yeah. Nice. It's, it's quite nice, actually. I spotted it, it looks, straight away when I came over. I was like... looks a bit insipid. It was like, what, what, where's the tea? Where, where's the tea? And then I smelled it, I went, it's somewhere right here. <laughs> but it's... That's I, quite nice. Well, I've had, I bought a smoky one from them before and it was just smoky and it was a very acquired taste. Mm -hmm. And then when I first had it, I thought, oh, yeah. I don't like it. It was very smoky. It, did, it tasted like it had been in a fire. Yeah. And it was very smoky and and I didn't like it. 
I wasn't sure. I could drink it, but I wasn't sure. Anyway, I thought, I've got this whole pack of tea and I'm not wasting it. So I just kept drinking it and I gradually got used to it and acquired it to the point that when I went today, that's what I thought I was picking up. Mm. What I bought, but when I've come back and I saw the citrus blend on it, actually tastes, you can taste the smoky, yeah. but it's not as... You can taste citrus. It's only it? supple. Yeah. And you can taste the citrus. And actually, I think it's quite nice. Well, I think it's quite it's nice. It's different. Um, for a change. It tastes like, I drink a lot of lemon tea with actual lemon, mm. just in hot water. And I'm really naff and I don't wash my cup out. I just throw a tea bag in and throw the next water in and make a brew. And it actually tastes like this. Yeah. About the minus the smoky bit. Yeah. So it's actually. I quite like nice. the smoky bit now. It's uh, It adds to it. Oh, right. So, whips. Whips. Work in progress. Right. I'll show this one first. This was on my acquisition list for the week since we've got the wool man. The wool man in town. It's, uh, it's fatal. Keep buying wool I don't really need. Um, you always need wool. Yeah. In my my dinosaur Mickey bag. My bag. Project bag. I love this bag. My my uh, notions pouch. Mm, is yeah, this. they match. <laughs> a break. A bigger one and a smaller <laughs> one. Um, and I am doing. This is just my vanilla sock pattern I always do. I've never sure. I don't know if I've ever showed it actually. This is, I got it free, you know I keep banging on about Ella like Wendy Roll Fusion, but when I bought them all you got this free pattern. Oh yeah, I've got one of them. You got this with it. Mm -hmm. I did my first pair of socks with that. Yeah, I've done all my vanilla socks with this. Um, this one here has got a, a cable in it. It was, it was the free pattern that came with the yarn, if it'll focus. When I used to sell the yarn in my shop. Just cover my face up. It's not doing facial recognition. No, don't want to know. But that's the colour socks I've just done and given to me down. These ones down here, I've done these. I uh, did these in a double strand. I did a double neck sock. I've worn those. But this, this is just a plain pattern. This is the, and this is this pattern I go to all the time. If anybody was ever desperate for a pattern, <laughs> a couple more of these. Because yeah, I've quite, quite a few. Used. So when I wear one out, I've got another one. But that's what I turn to for this good pattern. Um, and at the moment, this is my latest. I love it. I need to go buy some. I got this off the market. It's pay, uh, yeah, opal. I'll, I'll hold it up while you're doing this. It's opal sock yarn. It's opal. Opal. O, 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 opal pullover and sock woolen. Um, Come mint, on, focus. Mint, yeah, that, something or other. No, I don't want to know. And Get it's a bit closer. In, It's got a fancy label. In German. Oh, look. Look at that. Woo! Woo! Oh, look how sparkly look that is. the sparkles. Don't we all need glittery, sparkly socks? Yes. The fabulous stitch marker hanging on it. Yes. From Copo. Copo UK. Something like that. I think they're called. And I'm knitting it on my Chiagu. Don't look at my manky nails. Nine inch circlers. I'm, I'm, dead impressed that it's, <laughs> I'm dead impressed that it's focused in on that because he's changed the setting on it. So, and this is the label. Oof. This is what it is. You just throw it, I know, it's just fell on the floor. A little star. Yeah. This is mine. Now. Opal. I take this one. That's what colour it is. Spa. Big. I don't know which colour number it is, but that's the yarn. Opal. We've heard good things. Nikki's those socks. Nikki's finished for my mum. They were opal sock yarn, and they it's turns out really nice. never really bought it because I've never even felt it before. But the, the new wool man on the market is selling um, opal sock yarn, the the regular stuff and the glittery. So I am really pleased with those. They are, I'm whizzing along. I only started them. I'll just go have my wage over. This I, week. I didn't. They were two for. I think it was two for fifteen pound. Yeah, all over it. And he didn't me two for fourteen pound. Because I was telling him where I used to go and buy my wool when I had the shop. Because <laughs> he hadn't heard of it, and um, you know about the Devonports in Manchester, he hadn't heard about it, and so I was telling him about that. And when I had my shop, and I was, I was talking. I started talking about some the kind of knitting needles I used higher, higher, and he just kind of went straight over his head. Yeah, cause I had he had a clue. No, he hadn't. He hadn't heard of any of that. And, I was telling him how much we paid for some of the 
because she says people complain, what do you want glittering socks for? I said, what do they know? <laughs> they know nothing. Do they go into the hand-eyed indie, <laughs> indie yarns at all? I said, there's so many of them, are glittery for socks? I said, it's fabulous. Anyway, that's my rainbow socks on the way and I think I'm loving those. I love it. Um, I just love that itself. I usually get very bored doing vanilla socks but because of the way that's striping. Um, that's so, what I like with those. I love that I finished that finished in the next day or so because I was nearly there. I've put all the foot on today. What toe, what toe are you going to do? Uh, just my normal rounded toe rounded with a kitchen off. stitch. Um, heel flap and gusset because I like that. Um, <laughs> yeah I was trying, I did the turn the heel yesterday, I've done that bit today um, and that I did most of that at the shop the other day on my break. Most of the you can I'm, just fly along it, can't you? Yeah, I'm doing um, a 60 stitch cast, cast, blah, cast on. I normally do 64. Yeah, that's what and I am finding. I'm finding this. My tension seems to have got better on the 9 inch. My, it, the, my socks seem a little bit looser. Now, I don't like them tight, but they've been a little bit... They could just do with being a little bit snugger. So I thought I'd try on this one and do 64. Uh, 60 as opposed to 64 because I wanted to do it. I would have done it on two. I'm doing it on 2.5s and I thought I'll go down to 2.25s, but I haven't got any 2.25s. Um, That's side one in a minute. In a circular, and I wanted to have a go, the magic loop on it, but like I say, I haven't got the right needle, so I'm on the 2.5 and doing the 60 stitch instead to see how we go. Mm. So that's that one. Nearly done. Exciting. So, come on. What have you got? I have done some more of my magic spring shawl, I think that's what it's called. And I've fished out the third colour that I keep talking about and not having to show you, but I have it today. But I'll show you how far I've gone along. It's it's getting, right now, just so you can see this down the back. <laughs> it's getting quite large. I've got quite a few stitches now. Um, but where the progress keeper is, is where I've done and I'm on to the lacy bit of this shawl and it's like it's quite long. Put my brood out. And it's getting quite wide now and I haven't got much of this left. Um, this is Phileas, Phileas yarn that I got um, at Edinburgh Yarn Festival. I've got the thing somewhere but I don't know where it is. The ball band. Yeah, there was one. <sighs> You have to get it in that box. Oh. Um, so I'm just up to the lacy section now and then I think I'm just going to keep going for a bit with the brown and then I'm going to go into my third colour, like fade it in like I've done there because I really like how it looks. Pretty cool. Because I, I, I lost interest in it for a bit but then I, I picked it back That's up stitch again. Marker. Looks like a little ball, a pink wool. In fact, that manage, ma matches something you're doing today, isn't it? Yeah, it came with it. Look at that. Likes that. <laughs> I like this new setting. <laughs> and this, this is the yarn that's going to be the third, third colour. Yeah, we'll get that in a bit. Closer. See, we can do this on everything now. Um, I bought that when we went to Kendall, um, and it cost me like eighteen pounds, and I think it was one of the first. £18 ball of yarn that I bought and didn't think much of it and um, this is going to be the third colour because I think it really suits the flex in the grey I think it's... It does So the so quite well together Those socks that was being knitted in that orange yarn is no more I, I can't find the ball band to go with this um, and obviously I wound this before I even had a ball winder and a swift so. mm. Hey, when you have a ball wound in a swift mind, my pink nougat still leapt off and it's now in a, a funny shaped ball. I still think this is, I quite like the gobstopper style, I like mm. the way they look. Um, but now I've got a ball winder in a swift, that's how it goes, because I don't do them anymore. Mm. Then winds them all for me, <laughs> but that's how that's going. I'm hoping to get it done soon so I can actually play. I saw somebody on Instagram today, I can't remember who it was, with a picture of a child turning the ball wind and she says, is it, is it called child labour if he enjoys doing it? <laughs> if it's his favourite thing to do. I should get back on it. Probably... <clears throat> and what we knitted them on, Knit Pro? These are on higher, higher, higher interchangeables. 
bamboo on four millimeter and i don't know how long the cord is oh i'm, all, I'm coming on done here don't matter really uh, it's a long one anyway it's a long one yeah i'm running out of cords when i'm doing things i'm uh, 40 inch how hard is it trying to buy the size needles you want sometimes pain in the bum online i was trying to buy so i wanted some higher higher 60 centimeter fixed or Fix circulars for Magic Leap, or I wanted, Doing it in my, my or I would have bought, I wanted 2.25s, or I would have bought higher interchangeables, and I wanted a couple of new cords as well. Could I find them? Or if I did find them, they were out of stock everywhere. I thought, you know, those please people that are selling them, please we stop more. Because it's obviously popular. They just need to get on with it, don't I they? I just couldn't believe it everywhere I went. Anyway, I have a story about that later. I'm not happy about it. I'm going to have a grump. So, Mum's not happy. No. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it my turn? It's your turn then. So, I have another pair of socks. This is a learning curve, this pair of socks. Not because the socks themselves are a learning curve, but I've learned things. You've learned things. I've learned things Ooh. that I haven't done before. Uh, these are called uh, Just Follow socks for the yellow brick road. Yes. Just follow. For the socks of Oz, Cal. Uh, I've written on here. Look at you in notes. I know, I briefly wrote a few notes. Um, where is it? Uh, stand, yeah. Paper Daisy. Paper Daisy 1 on Ravelry is who you need to look for if you're interested in this pattern. Um, just put that down. So obviously on the pattern the yellow because it's for the yellow brick road mm -hmm. the socks are ours but i didn't have any yellow or not enough to do the socks and i fancied i'd been looking for something to knit this yarn with come on focus you know you want it you'll get it eventually so i want his golden eye come on Sorry about the pause while the camera thinks about what it wants to do. Why? Send me telepathic messages. You will focus. Why is it not focusing? I don't know. Doesn't want this one, does it? Just didn't mean did it. Give it a bigger surface area, see if that matters. Makes a difference. I should put it on the sock walker, really. Come on. There we go. Finally. Yeah. This is my little uh, Harry Potter. Hogwarts. Hogwarts. Uh, Progress Keeper. I got these free when I bought my Harry Potter yarn. Anyway, this is a um, Nougat by Stranded Dye Works uh, in the Paradise in a Paradise base, and it's the yellow. It is follow the row, follow just follow sock pattern by, on for the socks of Oscal on Paper Daisy one. And look at that. You see, you've got the bricks here, and then this is supposed to be the road. You start at the toe. Work your way up the road, and then you get to the bricks at the top. Um, and I'm really pleased with those. I did. Uh, They're really nice. A different heel than I would normally than I've normally done before. I've never done before. And it's called. I learned um, Judy's magic cast on to do to do the toe. Bear in mind, I've never done magic loop either. So. Nikki briefly showed me yeah. a week a week or two ago. Anyway, from what I remembered, um, I had a set of forty centimeter two point two 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 point two five millimeters fixed, which was long enough to do Judy's magic castle. But by the time I'd done that, it was really tight, too tight <coughs> to do the magic loop on. So I sent off for Monty, trying to get these high high, or Addy, or Chigu, or Anybody. It's Nobody. Just Nobody. Nobody had them. Nobody had them. Because I wanted to do this magic loop. I wanted to have a go. Anyway, so I ended up, I, I found some. I, I ended up on I mean, Derrimores and they had some <coughs> Knit Pro Zing. And I thought, oh, that's good. Well, I'll get them because I'll, I'll, I've got my Knit Pro Zing straights, which I love, and you've got yeah. them. So I ended up 
with my knit pro, I bought the knit pro zings and thought, well that'll be good. 60 centimetre knit pro zings, I love me. I love me, uh, me knit pro zing straights. Nikki loves her DPNs and her straights. Mm. God, a nightmare. It's putting, really putting me off. Been putting me off doing magic, magic, loop. magic loop because the join there is uh, not smooth even at all. If it'll focus in on that, probably won't with all the pattern in the background. No way. No, I bet your stitches catch. There we are. If I do, where is it? Can you hear that? That's really bad. So when I'm pushing the needle through, When I'm pu pu pushing the needle through, oh look, no. where's me in the centre there? And I'm pushing that in, it goes into the first bit, but I'm faffing about trying to push these last two stitches on. And I'm having to do that every time with That's, each needle. That is it's, infuriating. It is driving me crazy. So maybe they'll be alright for knitting a hat or knitting a cowl or but for doing. Magic loop. But for doing magic loop, and I bought two pairs as well. I'm I'd be so sending them back. So I'm really, yeah, but they're not faulty. No. It's just the join for doing magic loop is is not smooth at all. It's catching something terrible. So I'm not happy about that. So just if anybody knows anybody that's got any <laughs> higher, higher ones in stock or some other brand that's got a smooth join, join yeah. um, for doing this, because I like, I quite like doing this magic loop. Yeah. Um, I, I still like my nine. I've got to admit, I do like nine inch circulars, um, and I like my DPNs. But if if this is going to be the experience of having magic loop, it, I'm not going to be doing it. It's a negative one. Um, I'm not going to be doing it. But that aside, I learned Judy's magic custom, <laughs> and that was easy because the the higher higher fix forty centimeters was smooth. Smooth, yeah. Whereas these are not. Um, it's knitted quite this knitted quite tight, which is which is nice. Um, because I'm doing these on the 2.25s, whereas I'm knitting it on 2.5s. Yeah. So these are coming out a closer fit. Um, and then then I did, and then I learnt German short row heel. It was on the pattern. Um, I've never done, never done that before. Uh, that was quite easy, easier than I expected. There was no picking up. You're still getting the heel flap. You're still getting the heel flap and the gusset, but you're not doing it separately. Oh really? So it's all still on knitted on. So that was quite good. I thought that came out quite well. It was easy. When I first looked at the instructions on the sheet and I looked at it and went, say what? It's in German. It, <laughs> it said something and it said, pull the yarn so that the two stitches are like forward. And I'm like, what? what? <laughs> Stitch them together and I'm like, I've got no idea. Anyway, I couldn't figure it out. So I went on YouTube, YouTube. as you do. <laughs> Uh, I just googled German short rows and um, sock petition. Mm. Who don't, no, no, we don't really watch, but I went on, I watched his video. I started watching somebody else's first and it wasn't so clear. And then I went on sock petitions and I will say, was it a good his, one? his was a very good tutorial. I got it the first time, he showed it and I did it the first time. Oh, his tutorial awesome. was really, it's much, I find it much better watching his tutorials than watching his podcast. podcast. Um, but it was very clear, very concise, and so thank you to the sock petition Woo! for your tutorial because now I can German sure. short row heel. I'd have to read the instructions again, but so I learned that as well. And then, so that's three things I learned. All right. I like Judy's magic cast on, so now I won't be intimidated by toe up because when I tried doing toe up socks before, oh, on DPN, on my DPNs, and you're casting on two stitches in, oh, what else? Oh, that was hard work. That makes life so much easier. And then there was also the bind off is a sewn bind off. What's one of them? With a needle. You be thread your thread and do it. I don't know. I haven't done it yet. Or up. I'll see what it's like. That's going to be the bind off. It'll be a sewn bind off. So by the time I finish that sock, I'll have done four new techniques. How cool. That is cool. Is that? And the sock, it's fabulous to boot. Oh, yeah. um, it's a very pale, pastel colour. Now, the, I've been watching Amy. From Stranded Dyeworks, her latest podcast today, and she was showing the yarns that are going to be on her update tomorrow night. And she's got new new gar on there, but it's much more it's much more yellow. Oh, really? You know the little yellow, there's little yellowy flecks in yeah. this, and there's much more 
in the ones that she was showing. Okay. She had it on castaway double, didn't it? And they're quite... You fancy it? I quite fancy that. That would make some nice socks. You know the Hatcho socks that'll do them. Ribby ones. Yeah. I wouldn't mind doing a pair of them. What time will be? Seven o'clock tomorrow. When I'm at work! At night? Yeah. She's oh. doing an international one. So she normally does it at ten o'clock in the morning on a Friday. When I start work. <laughs> We will suddenly... And then she's doing her international one at night. We'll suddenly we'll be in the back room just like my staff for It's seven o'clock. Oh, they're on our phone. Yeah, it's seven o'clock. <laughs> when I'm still at work, because we're going to finish at half seven, so if I disappear to the loo at <laughs> seven o'clock, because I've seen one or two that she showed to death, I'd have quite fancy. Suddenly, by the time I go home, by the time I get home, yeah, by the time I get home and, home and get on, we'll be gone. Everybody will have bought everything. They will. And we'll be they're sad. black. She's doing one called Bilberry, I think. Some of Berry. God, it was nice. It was really nice, but I bet you don't get any. But if I don't, I'll be text, email. Email. Yeah. Email with fury. I want Yeah, this. I know you don't do this, but you do. Because <laughs> I've seen you do it. So that's that one anyway. So I've knitted those two. So I've knit, nearly knitted a complete pair of socks since last time. It was really good. Just two different ones. Mm. So just have to do the other ones. Very well, nearly, I should finish both of them this week mm. and start the next ones. I'll start the next one straight away. No second self syndrome. <sighs> and while we're on the sock Where? theme, theme, so I'd be doing a lot of socks, and it's not generally I think. Um, I like I've been doing socks because I can knit them whilst I'm with Michael. Mm. I like well they're easy to take to work. Yeah, and I find so them easy to shove in my bag and take to work to knit on my break. I started my first toe up socks, as you can see. Um, I'm not displaying these very nicely. You can get up this time. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Boob shot. Oh, boobs. At least I'm wearing a bra. <laughs> quite disturbing if you weren't. So these are uh, started. I started with. Hold it quite still. Turkish cast on, toe up cast on. I'm not. I'm, I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Um. It will get there. Um. I've. I downloaded. Christy from the Relatively Crafty's sock recipe for stripy socks because she doesn't toe up with her cast on. Yeah, this Turkish cast on. Was it easy? It were easy. I think I might have done it the wrong way, back to front, but I'm, I'm not sure if she watches it. If she watches, she'll tell you. She'll tell laugh. me, yeah, because I watched a video and then I stopped. I watched a video of how to do it and then I went off and did the dishes and then I thought, right, I'll sit down and do that now. So I did it and I don't know if I did it right, but it, 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 I, I've got a toe and I've knit this much, so I must be okay. <laughs> I'm happy with it anyway. And, um, they're for you. They're for me. And I'm using my February sock club, Devon Sun Yarns. That um, matches that stitch marker we were showing before. Yeah, on my shawl. And I've done a fish slips kiss heel. Uh, not that it's going to focus. There we go. There you go. And now I'm onto the um, what do you call it leg. I keep I keep trying to put my hand in because when I'm knitting socks, I tend to put a knit with my my hand actually in it and then knitting because I like knitting um magic loop. I'm actually using what am I on? What am I knitting with? Two point seven five uh, mil. Bamboo high high eight interchangeables. Um, I'm doing it all magic loop, and it, I think this is my preferred technique. And I'm quite happy with doing this rib. Um, rib. This is vanilla. a vanilla latte yeah. top, and I quite like it because it's um, enough to keep me interested and knit it whilst I'm. Um, and it pulls in as well. So with you been doing them on the two seven fives as well, they might be a bit looser, but because they're ribbed, it pulls it in. It pulls it in a bit. Um, whilst I'm on Michael Patrol. Whilst he's trying to feed his dipsy his watsies, I can um, knit these and I'll be uh, and it's easy enough to remember where I'm at and everything. And they fit me quite nice. And with toe up, I've never done a toe up sock before. Um, no, no, I've done one, like I say, I've had a nightmare. The me bee sock, then only bee socks. They look fabulous. I will do the other one one day. But this actually, this is the like the longest foot I have ever knitted for me. Yeah, well, it fits me really yeah, well. Yeah, well, look at that, that's mine. Look how long mine looks. I think mine's 60, sti 60, 60 stitches. 65 or something. 60 stitches. 60 rows. 60 rows. Well, look at that, I mean, that looks like it goes on forever. But, um, but it fits. But it makes me wonder 
it makes me wonder that if I haven't been knitting my feet long enough from when I've been doing cuff down socks but now I know that I need to maybe add a few more rows in I think I used to do 45 rows but because I'm doing them on 2.25s I need to do more rows yeah and I think I did about what did I say to you about 60 about 60 you said 66 right and then I thought I'll do a few less maybe the toes a bit shorter um, but this fits me really well so if this comes out okay like casting off the rib and what have you I, I think there's somebody's cast off that everybody super does. stretchy bind off yeah, or something I think I might do that one um, and then obviously I'll start the next one straight away and do that so cool sock we're well, all going to be decked out we've got all these new socks and I'll have a full washing line right I think I've got one last no I've got two sock. I've got two I've got me, me, uh, me Wendy Evolution show that I showed last time. I've done a bit on this. Not a huge amount because I was doing the other one. The one I've got on. With me dang with it. Um, but I have done a reasonable amount of progress on this. Because uh, it's getting quite wide. I was about here. A little bit. Last time. Um, you should be able to see it better actually now. Now the camera's uh, been tuned in to liking the this feels divine oh, it's got that straight away look this feels really really nice there's my stag that's another harry potter progress keeper um i love that one that's now my favorite but i love the brick it's like a kind of brickwork kind of pattern it's dead easy this is another easy tv knitting pattern because it's a really easy pattern to remember and uh it's the it has the most beautiful drape and this again is just is a wendy one off the market um it's got cotton cotton in it so i wanted a nice spring lightweight one lightweight one that's got loads of stretch loads of really stretch nice, um I, i've only got about another 20 more 20 more stitches to increase before i'm at the center i think so that's probably about 40 rows because you increase every other row i think so I'm looking forward to this being done. Um, I'm serious, and I've got another one. I bought jungle colourway. Oh, I forgot that. Yeah, I bought the jungle colourway. Yeah, you did. But I'm not showing you that <laughs> until I come to knit it. I don't know what I'm going to knit it with it yet. But I haven't fished it out, so I'm not ferreting in the box. <laughs> not ferreting in the box now. So that's that one. Have you got any more work in progress? Yes. Um, I started a project this morning. Um, I wanted something to do whilst I was waiting to go see the physio for my ankle um, and I was flicking through some magazines that I've got and I decided um, I'm going to start knitting Christmas presents but because we were also going to start doing this baby segment I thought I'd might as well start and yeah. make presents. So my friend recently had a baby girl so I, I thought I'd do this little dress. Is it focusing? I can't tell. Not so. Um, and this is from a Let's Knit magazine from 2013. It's um, very cute. I think it's adorable. Uh, the the flowers are sewn on separate. I don't know if I'm going to do the flowers. I'll ask her if she likes them. I'll do them. Um, but I started that this morning, and this is as as far as I got. I'm all in a tangle. It's only problem once I can eat those. Oh man, just just bear with me a moment. Yeah, you talk about some of what I untangled myself. <laughs> what would you like me to talk about? What, whatever you like. Uh, well, <laughs> we've had a lot going on this week. Jean is coming home. Yay! Crafty Jean is coming home from hospital finally after four and a half weeks. She's Chippy Jean. She's yeah, chip yeah. Is that not what I said? <laughs> you said Crafty Jean. <laughs> Chippy Jean is coming home from hospital. Um, she went in. I think we said with a suspected heart attack, it turned out she didn't have a heart attack. She had uh, pneumonia and pleurisy and sepsis. Double Just whammy. a bit. Double whammy. Triple um, whammy. Triple whammy. Um, and she's been in now for four and a half weeks. But she is currently, as we speak, well, she, at least she was 10 or 15 minutes ago. Well, probably more like half an hour ago, actually. She was uh, waiting, still waiting on the transport to bring her home. Mm. So that's good news. Um, 
We've had not such great news. My sister's quite poorly. Um, she's waiting for a diagnosis at the moment, and it's not. We're really hoping it's not what we think it is, and it's not going to be good. So we've been a bit distracted these last couple of days. Um, so we're all hoping uh, she's better than we think. I'll mention more about that when we when we know when we get a definite get a definite diagnosis. But uh, she's only forty two, and it's it's tough. Yeah. It's not cancer. No. No, we're not talking about that. Not the big but Just in case you're wondering, but um, so I might mention that a bit later on. If you know, if we seem a bit, mm. hmm. Oh, I've not got as much done. Yeah. It's because you're distracted, and when I don't know. I think when we're distracted, the pair of us, we can't concentrate on no. anything, we're just worried. I mean, my husband's been, um, his skin, his eczema, he has really bad eczema, and his skin's been really bad lately. And with all these different, and I can't do anything to help him, um, and this is where knitting helps. As a therapy, if anybody's ever thinking about starting it as a distraction, use knitting as a distraction. It really does. It's therapy, because when I sit here and I see my husband in pain with his eczema, I just sit and I can't do anything. I sit and focus on my knitting, and it stops me getting upset or stressed, worried. And then when I'm thinking about Sarah, um, I sit and you know concentrate on my knitting because you have to try and switch off from it, otherwise you drive yourself crazy. It's true. Um, and then I've had sick parents as well, so um, we need some good news in our family, don't we? Right, carry on. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is as far as I got. Uh, this is 168 stitches and I'm knitting it in the round. Like a lottery win. Um, That'd be nice. Oh, what's that? What? <laughs> <laughs> um, he's knit it straight for five rows. So you knit to the end, turn and then go back. And then you get so far in it and then you join. And it's and then, and then it's got this line. It looks like I've done a rubbish job. What's going on? Can you see that from the with me dangly bits? <laughs> That's the title of our podcast. I think we're just going to call it dangly bits. Can you imagine what it's going to bring up in the search engines? <laughs> um, but with this, I've never started off a rib like this before because I knitted through the back loops and then I knitted the um, for the first row. I cast on using long tail cast on because for some reason in my mind I thought I was casting on at the um, neck so I thought all right okay I'll start on the neck band that no problem I can get that done before I have to go to Dotton's and I'm casting on 164 stitches of mine this, this, this ain't mine this isn't right I didn't even think to look at the pattern and it's like it's the bottom Nicola yeah. <laughs> that's just a big neck that's one big neck and I know I'm doing for age one to, two, one to one and a half but the little girl she's quite dainty she was born early as well and she's only two months now so this is going to be a Christmas present and she won't fit in it but it's the yeah but things are meant to be big on kiddies um, they so usually am. I'll do, this is the contrast colour and this is the main colour and these are both from Stylecraft Special DK. Um, I did originally get these for a crochet in a lily pond blanket. Yeah, it was a crochet along. We both started it and never finished it. Never finished it. I've still got some of the other bits so I might show you them. But yeah, I've got loads of squares and things that we need to use up on something. I'm, yeah, I might turn them into cushion covers or something. Um, oh, I'm actually leaving there to look pretty. <laughs> I've yet to decide. I just came across mine again today in the bottom of my bag, along with some other crochet squares with flowers in the middle. I don't know what colours these are. Pink and dark pink. Pink and, pink and dusky pink. Dusky pink, I think. But they're 100% they're acrylic, which is ideal for kids, really. Um, and I've knitted quite a lot of things in. This special DK is special brilliant DK. for crochet. Crochet. It's Mm. And for knitting. I've knitted loads of baby clothes. Children's in clothes in it, yeah. Because I used to sell it. And uh, so I used to knit loads of samples for the shop and you sell them. And it washes so, so well. well. I've got quite... Uh, I have... Um, acrylic yarn's great for kids. A good acrylic yarn. A couple of bits mm. that were knitted for Michael. Because they're inexpensive. They're less than £2 a ball generally, aren't they? I think yeah. I used to sell it for about £1.70 a ball or something like that. So that's that. So that's going to be the start of the... Uh, 
Christmas knitting. Christmas knitting and a Z baby segment. Yes. So that's my last win. My last word. Hang on, hang on, hang Sorry. on. Sorry. And I'm doing it on um, 3.25 millimeter needles. The pattern does say 4 mil, but I'm not doing it on 4 mil because I would like it to look like it's not droning the poor child. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. hi, hi, as, as usual. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm on my show. This, in my, in my new Eeyore <laughs> tote bag I got from the pound shop. It's cute. Um, Eeyore's by far my favourite in the Winnie the Pooh series because he looks gloomy and it's just blow, you know, just love him. Anyway, so I'm doing, I joined the, C, the secret, is it the secret? No, the Shawl Society 2 uh, club. It's a secret. It is. What's a secret? <laughs> um, the, where you get a pattern, you pay, I think it's about £15 for a series of patterns and you get one every six months. One's released, not one every six months, one a month for six months. So you get six patterns by the end of the show. Nobody else can buy the patterns until the end of to the end of, it till the, end of the six months when she'll release them all individually, I think, um, she said. But uh, So I'd been in anticipation of getting this first pattern. And it's called the Fairy Hill show. And it is. It's beautiful. It's lovely. And I'm knitting in this mothy, mothy and the squid. Hang on, I'll tell you exactly what it's called, if I can pronounce it. Lungwort Sparkle. 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 10% still even, I think. But it is lovely. It feels so nice. The pattern is easy. It's a lace. Uh, Simple lace pattern, and can you see the? I don't know if you can see. Can you see the sparkle there? Sparkle, it's only sparkle. It's, it's only subtle, but it's it's lovely. You might see it better on the black. It's beautiful, though. It's a little bit of a brighter colour than you see on here, but I am loving it. So it's going to be lovely, and it's going to feel lovely when it's done. I'm knitting it on my crappy. Because um, I ran out of needles. Because the four millimetre higher hires on the decent length are on that yeah, evolution show. Clanky pony ones. And I thought to start it, so I found in my old stock from the from the shop, I have some the clover, I think. No, not clover. Essential. I have some of them. These the cheap ones I used to sell in the shop. That's what I did, Michael's um, waistcoat on. On an eighty centimetre needle. So it's it's obviously not going to be long enough to stretch it out on. But I started it off on my straights, my symphony straights, again, mm. till there was too many stitches, and then I've put it onto these. So it's only going to scrunch up. Do you know, it feels so... It's beautiful. So nice. Like I say, the yarn's from... I've not... I have... I've bought wools from Mothley and the Squid, but I've never knitted any up until now. And this is so, so nice. I would highly recommend go and check them out. She has got some beautiful colourways. She's just brought out this cat, these cat ones. The cat cut Russian blue. Oh. I want the Russian blue. Yeah. I was looking at those today thinking, should I? Should I? And the shawl in that would be lovely. There's like an orangey red. It's like a black and a blue. Bluey, but the bluey. Yeah, Brandy there's a tabby. One. She's got a tabby. Yeah. Um, and then like a tortoiseshell. Yeah, I think that's the one I've been looking at. Um, but I like the Russian, the Russian blue uh, one. Looks looks really nice. Would make a fabulous shawl. Beautiful. I'm thinking. Or even fabulous socks. We're just gonna be poor forever. I'm never going to have any money nope. if I'm not buying it online for the your fancy stuff I'm going to be. I'm going to have to get rid of some, you know. <laughs> I'll take some to a charity shop and some of this stuff from the from the miss shop that I never use. Uh, I'll never, mind you, I kept saying I was going to weave it. I haven't had a chance to do any weaving this week. Mm. Um, I was looking at it today thinking I need to do a bit more of that. But I, I, didn't have to, I wanted to do my socks, so I need to get that finished. Because I'm weaving, as I showed last time, I'm weaving. I have done a bit more on it. Weaving a, I said a pashmina, but it depends what it's like when it comes off and how it washes. Mm. Because Nikki, if it's if I don't want it as pashmina, it could go and be a fabric for bags. Mm. That'd be good. Because um, I've seen some lovely bags done out of hand woven, which looks really nice. So that's all we've got for working progresses. Yes. So I have no acquisitions. You have no acquisitions? No. Well, I've a couple to show. I've got 
I bought that opal rainbow sock you did on, and I also got this one. I could not resist. Let's find that. This one. Turn it sideways if it likes it better. And it's purple and green. And all I could think, I bought this, and then the same day we went walking down the canal in the evening, and there was blue bells everywhere. And all I could think, <laughs> you think knitting constantly. <laughs> oh, my purple and green. I think I'll call them my 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 blue bells in the down the canal socks, or my blue bells in the woods socks, because it was just these colours. Um, they call it a blue and blue there. Funny. <laughs> Ample funny, <laughs> but no, it's that's bluebells. That's definitely you've got to agree with that. That's bluebells. Yeah. In the grass. In the grass. It's bluebells in the grass, but bluebells in the wood sounds better than bluebells in the grass. Yeah. So it's another sparkly it. sock yarn. So don't know if it's going to be socks or whether it's going to be something else. No, but, it it, be but it'll probably be socks um, because it's pretty cool, and that that'll be a pair of vanilla socks probably because it's a self stripy. Yeah. I've never done self striping before. It's satisfying, isn't it? Yeah. This, I think, will strike more than that one. So I've got that, and then that was on the. probably on the Saturday, something like that. I went down and bought that. You're keeping them up full time. I think I am. And then I went down again <laughs> on my break. I go for a wander. I was having a look through around, around again with no intentions of buying it. It's gone magnet and it sucks her in. No intentions of buying <laughs> anything. And then I saw these. This was new, and I'm so thinking, soft. It, Peter Pan, Petit Fleur, which I assume means little flower. Come on, focus. And it is so, it's a new baby yarn. It's too soft for babies. It's fabulous. It's too nice to stick it on a child. <laughs> They'll ruin it. <laughs> Petit Fleur, double in. I'm looking at that, I'm thinking, they just do it in grey, cream, it's like off white. Pink, a baby pink and a baby blue, I think there was. And it's um, maybe white, proper white. And it feels so nice. It's got like a bit of a... Feels luxurious. A halo to it. It is 44% um, cotton, 28% tensile and 28% acrylic. And it's it looked, I think it looks a bit mohairy. That's what I first thought when you presented it yeah, to me. Yeah, but it's not. It's cotton. Um, so I am thinking the shawl that I, I bought it with the intentions of making another one of these, but in this, really which will be nice for sp spring, summer, um, if you go out or, I don't know, it might be one of the ones I'm thinking of making to sell, I was thinking. Yeah, it'd be lovely. And, you know, I might do it stripes. Whether or... I don't know if I'll do it in blocks or if I'll do it in stripes or or what Lots or half and half yeah. or something. But I really liked that, so and it was quite inexpensive. I think they were. I bought six bowls for fifteen pound. That's cheap. Fifty gram bowls. Um, and I bought it because it was cotton as well, and it's got one hundred and ninety-one yards or one hundred and seventy-five meters per bowl. So, like I said, I bought three of each. I thought that's more than enough. I'll probably only use, I don't know, I might use three. it might take three to do one, but we'll see. But I really, uh, really it feels it's so soft. nice. Um, like I say, it's only 28% acrylic, but cotton, so I thought that's almost like a posh yarn. Posh? But not a posh one. I think they were about £2. I think they were £2.50 each. Parking. Exactly. You can't rumble that kind of thing. It'd be rude not to. It that was my math loss. So. Anyway, that aside, that's acquisitions, other than my rubbish magic loop needles. Which are <laughs> you know, like needles. We'll just not go there. Anymore. I bought a fancy box, you might have seen that. It's really Excuse good. Excuse me, one second. I got this last time and I forgot about showing it. I got this lovely box in Home Sense in Manchester. I mean, what is not to like about that? Look at you, with all your fancy cases. Look at that. This is all my knitting needles and crochet hooks and that's all my rubbishy stuff from left from the, you know, stitch markers and, and four millimeter, you know, Rubbish. circular needles and things. And I've got <laughs> my light in there. But for keeping all my needles, I said I wanted some nice boxes and how nice is that? That was nine ninety nine. 
bargain. It's a hard box, magnetic. So if you live in England and you've got a home sense, Gosh, they've got it. so many different designs of those uh, boxes. And I think they do them a couple of sizes down as well. Yeah, they do them so they can nest. Yeah, and they're so nice. So I need, need more of those. Because they look pretty. It sits on my floor next to my fireplace and it looks pretty as opposed to plastic boxes. Yeah, we don't Yeah, it looks so much nicer. So much nicer. Keeping them in. Anyway, when we've done that, we said we were going to do a book section, a book review, yes. and a babe section. Well, we're going to combine the two yes. um, today uh, with some things that we've knitted, well, I've knitted in the past, and I imagine Nikki might knit more of in the future. We've got all these baby things that we've got left anyway, so this is what we're going to work on. Um, maybe if Nikki brings some of hers next time, yeah. or whatever she's got. So the first ones I've knitted Being are from... <laughs> we decided, when we first started, decided we wanted to have an Etsy shop, we decided we were going to knit, because we knitted so many baby things. And when I knitted, when I knitted, when I had my shop, I used to sell, knit and sell a lot of premature baby clothes. Everything I sold, because it was quick and easy to knit in premature sizes as samples, but everything used to sell really quick. So we thought, there must be a bit of a gap from what people said in the market for premature baby clothes. So we decided to start knitting prem baby clothes for to try and sell on Etsy. Mm -hmm. Didn't work. No. Didn't work. So we've got a few. We've not got a lot. We have sold some on since yeah. to people that we know that have had premature babies. Anyway, this book, I've done a couple out of. This is a lovely book by Serdar, Early Arrivals. Some of it's in four-ply and some of it's in double-knit. Um, this has got to be the cutest. Oh, it's so look tiny. at that. Just look at that. This teeny tiny. You can't imagine a baby small enough to fit in that. That's actually an egg yellow. Looks bright yellow there, but it's not. It's like an egg yellow. And it's got this lovely little lace pattern and a ducky button. Teeny tiny little arms. And, tiny. and the, these were for like something like a, a four pound, three, like four that. pound baby and the pattern because the pattern for that was um just one second was there this baby here that was the pattern and they go up to about i think they go up to about six months six to twelve months they go from premature 10 inch chest which is tiny i think that might have been what i did i think i did the 12 um, but they're so tiny, like the baby, the baby dolls and things as well. That was that was that pattern. So we did that one. That was in double knit. That was in that Stylecraft double knit. And oh, this yeah. was yarn that was supposed to be for that Lily. crochet lily pond. Yeah. Knit a uh, crochet long blanket that I never did, never finished. So I used it to make that teeny tiny baby one. And then this is my favourite teeny tiny baby knit of all time. I just love this. What is not to love? about that and it's in Serdar Crofter Baby Crofter yeah that was in Serdar Baby Crofter I did like some stuff in Crofter this is so cute it feels so soft it's double knit it feels so soft it's got a folded over little uh, oh. rib on the hood um, it's not tight on the hood because it splits there so it's not going to get tight under a tiny baby's neck and then look at these they are so tiny. Stop picking them up. Teeny tiny. Little booties to go with it, to Teeny match. Teeny feet that small. Like a five pound, four or five pound baby. They're nice and snug in the winter. In that. So that was so cute. Cute, I just love that. I don't want a baby that small to put in it. But you know, it'll fit a teddy or it's, it's really cute. And that was, um, where is it? That was this pattern. It was uh, pretty easy to do, um, so if you had premature babies in your life, um, these, like I said, these do go up to six to twelve months, so they'll fit, or oh, you know, regular size babies, and up to little one year old. Knuckles a bit out, we're on this size now, but it's it's perfect to have something to knit for so small because we were struggling initially for patterns. King Cole go down to a like a twelve inch, twelve inch, yeah, but these go down to a yeah. ten inch. So earlier I've Serda code 280C, so 
um, if you're in, if you're interested in about great book and there's some lovely lovely patterns. I mean this one I was going to do and it got I was going to do this but never got round to it. That's in four ply. I could do that in some lovely yarns. Um, what else is in there that we liked? This little just basically all of them. Yeah, this little lacy one and. They are such easy patterns to follow, they were such easy patterns to follow, such easy to knit. And then that jacket, this, this has been hibernating uh, for, since we started with the hand with all these indie yarns, I've been doing this. This is the same jacket, not finished, nearly finished. I've done the sleeves, I've done the, uh, the body. This is uh, for uh, three months, this one was for. I need to finish it. All I've got to do is sew the hood together and put the rib on. No, you don't. On the hood. Sew the sleeves in and it's done. Button top. And that is in Peter Pan. Um, Comfort or whatever it's called. No, Peter Pan. Just for Peter Pan, Wendy Peter Pan double knit. It's like um, a luxury acrylic because mm. you paid about £5.50 pound, about five pound for this yarn. And when I started knitting it, I thought it was white because I'm knitting it under these crappy lights. Is it cream? And I thought I was knitting white, uh, so it'd be unisex and everything, but it's not. It's ivory. All oh, right. <laughs> I only realised that when I've knitted nearly all this, and I I was actually knitting in daylight for a change, and noticed it wasn't white; it was ivory. It's still unisex. Yeah, so it's like a cream. So it's lovely. So it's an off. It looks off white, um, but it'd be I nice. Like it. Be nice when it's done. So some of these things, like I say, might start reappearing back in our shop, our Etsy shop, when they're done. And like I said, we wanted to do a book review and as we've knitted things, like with the, what I did the Nikki Epstein book last week, I have knitted squares out of it. Yeah. And give it a proper review because you need to uh, review we've it. done things out of it. And if I do some more than one thing in it, it must be good. Must be. So there we go. So that's what we've got for babies uh, this week. Um, I think we're just about... I'm going to review Susan B. Anderson's. If you're interested, I'll show it now and then... I'm going to review Susan B. Anderson's Itty Bitty Toys next week. I have done a couple of toys. I just need to rescue some from Michael's room. We need, yeah, we need to get one or two from Michael. <laughs> Michael's room. Um, but that's a really good book. And we all know Susan B. Anderson uh, is brilliant anyway. And just to finish off, I'm going to show you the bags that are in our latest shop update, which was Wednesday last week. Um, they're all similar style bags, but I like this style bag. It's, it's nice to nice to see them um, rather than just a photograph. So here is the first one, um, a Groovy Zebra fabric. I can't get this fabric anymore. So um, it's a one-off. And it's got some orangey... Yeah, I think that's really bright. The camera doesn't like it. Yeah, yeah let's try and get a bit closer with it. With a, an orange print. And it's got a leopard print uh, tag on go. the inside. If you look a bit further in, it's got a Oh loop. yeah, there's a, a tag there. So you can attach your progress keepers to it. Yeah, you could hook your... Uh, or your you, could, you could put your needles through that. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Progress creepers, maybe. Yeah. And then a nice handle. Coordinating handle. Stick your handle... Uh, your handle's in your hand in. Your hand through. Yeah. Nikki's hand fits through it, so... Yeah. But I mentioned them on my hands and with a bit more extra give. Because not obviously everybody's got the same size wrists as me. Um, and this is quite narrow and tall, but you can still fit socks projecting quite easily. Probably fit hat projects and things in there as well. Yeah. And then this is the more standard size that I'll be making um, with the handle again and zipper on the inside with some jazzy blue fabric. Mm -hmm. And that's got um, a loop inside as well, which matches the handle on the outside. It's paisley on the inside. Mm. There's your loop on the inside on that one, bigger? It's bigger that one. I could do that with that one because I have more. These are a flat bottomed. Yeah, I've not boxed them. These are not box bottomed, these. Only because I can't be bothered with it. They'd be nice though if you say if you're going on holiday. This one's boxed. For putting your, your bras in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Your bras or your smalls in. In your in your suitcase. Your delicates. Yes. Your boulder holders. <laughs> Your muffin top um, curvers. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, I showed this last time, but this has gone in my um, shop update, in the shop update, um, with the cottages. 
um, and a little doggy on there as well, um, the handle, and then I've got the woodland creatures lining, owls and acorns and... And if you watch Amy Florence from Stranded Dye Works' latest podcast, she's, Nikki has done a prize for the Knit Brick Cal, which is the one, did she show it last time, that had the Union yeah. Jacks on it? Sure. Amy shows it this time on her latest video. Um, that you can, the one that you can win. So if you didn't see our previous one, go on and, and watch Amy because I love her podcast. And this is a new size that I've done. I need this one. Um, just flatten it out because you're getting all scrunched up. And this is my Disney Villains uh, bag. It's quite a large bag. Um, I needed to do it big just to justify the prints. You can a sweater project easily do easily fit a sweater, sweater project. project in there. Several balls of yarn in there. Um, I think in my picture I I displayed three. I think it's three one hundred grams of DK and two four ply, with room left to put like needles, pattern, notions, pouches, or if you're like me, if I have a big bag like this, I tend to throw in multiple projects, just to keep. And on holiday, in your suitcase, you can put pyjamas. It'll be a good baby bag. Oh, you're nice. You're nice hand-knitted cashmere jumper that you don't want to be ruined by anything. Put it in your posh bag. Because that'll hook onto your handle, your handle bar or your buggy clip or whatever. Your handle bar, you can take it in your posh bag. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> your pram thing, because yeah. someone, someone one of my friends, she doesn't like the conventional girly stuff. And she, she was loving it, she said that's amazing, that'd be really good. Uh, and on, in, on the inside as well, it's got a big loop as well. Because you, yeah. you need loops in your life. You do. Uh, and I can fit two six pint of but, um, milk six in pints of milk. <laughs> two six pint of milk things, because I just thought I want to see what could cram in this. Pajamas. Kids teddies. Kids teddies. Yeah, little girl taking her dollies. Fancy dress. Uh, a princess dolls. Not princess the evil doll. ones. You know? You know. The, the, the villains can protect frozen. the princesses. Yeah, they're little frozen princesses. Yes. And Mo Mona. Mo Moana. Moana. It sounds like Mona. Because the little girl. The moaning who, princess. Who comes into the chippy and she's always dressed as a Moana. Yeah. And she's dead cute. But that's that. That's the biggest size. Um, use it for anything really. So yeah. There we so go. that's it. So that's all we've got to show you today. I think we've rambled on a bit long there. That's going to be a long video. So happy knitting. Happy to everybody. Mm. TTFN. Until next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>